videos oh. coming in. It's just awful to see. So sad, so sad. And uh, we've got we've got an active weather pattern to talk about that could create even more storms across the Midwest later on this week, which uh, is uh, pretty, pretty. This is a pretty impressive storm that's actually going to hit us with some very strong winds. And yeah, some rainfall and some mountain snow, folks. We're going to have those snowfall uh, totals for you coming up here in just a moment. But here's the way it looks outside currently. Hey, not all that bad. Lower 70s, still above average. And uh, yeah, our average high this time of year, still in the mid to upper 60s around the valley. 43 in Flagstaff, 53 in Prescott, and temperatures in the mid 50s in Payson. Want to show you the radar. Yeah, pretty quiet right now, but we will start to see some activity. We definitely have some showers out to the west of us that will start to push ever closer towards us. And I want to show you this wider view. We were watching this low develop out in the Pacific and boy, look at big dip in the jet stream already bringing pockets of some moderate rainfall, some snowfall in the higher elevations around Southern California, some much needed rain, but uh, it's also seen with this area, low pressure that look at this as it treks towards the east. Yeah, it's going to bring us some snowfall and a chance for some shower activity and that dip into jet stream also means some very cool temperatures. We'll tell you more about those temperatures, but let's talk about the rainfall totals and yes, uh, some of the snow up in the mountains and joining us for a super weather segment. My good buddy <laughs> Royal Norman right here. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, Paul, as you know, it doesn't look like we're going to see a ton of rain here, but the high country snow, a different Ooh, story. That's for sure. Let's take a good. look. Yeah, first of all, we're going to take a look at a couple of graphics that uh, show rain fall amounts and uh, this first one is showing just about a tenth of an inch of rain for Metro Phoenix and that's kind of what we're getting out of all our models. Here's one that says a hundredth of an inch of rain and then this final one that we're going to show you shows three hundredths of an inch of rain for Metro Phoenix. So it really doesn't look like we're going to see much rain around the valley. Well, what about the snow? Well, there we go. There's one. That's a nine inch at Flagstaff, five inches at Sedona. But look at what the difference a model makes. Uh, we get still eight inches at Flagstaff, but not as much at Prescott and Sedona and some of our secondary areas. Heber with a couple of inches of snow there. So breaking it down just one more time. Happy Jack, maybe over seven inches of snow. Williams about five inches. Prescott could see a couple of inches of snow. Uh, we definitely need the snow up in the high country, Paul. But what about the timing? Things seem to be slowing down just a little bit tonight. Things are slowing okay. down. In fact, uh, they have pushed that uh, winter storm warning uh, out to about eight o'clock up in the high country. Mm -hmm. So uh, they had that a little earlier, but uh, they've now moved it and let's uh, time out some of these showers. There's that dip in the jet stream. That's going to be the culprit of all that moisture and the cooler temperatures. Here's future cast. I'm going to stop it right here. This is a late night event, folks. Yeah, right around 1130 is where we're going to start to see some steady rain uh, start to push into uh, parts of the valley. And as you saw with Royals, uh, some of those models, we're talking light amounts of rainfall, but boy, some snow up in the high country. Look right around 11 o'clock this evening up around Flagstaff. It's going to be a quick move or tomorrow morning. We'll wake up yeah, a few clouds, but uh, otherwise some clearing skies and behind this system. That's where we're going to start to see some chilly temperatures. Here's your highs tomorrow. Pretty impressive mid 40s for lows and then we're going to hit highs at around the upper 50s. Oh, we haven't experienced that in a while. 58 degrees. Then skies start to clear out back into the 60s Thursday. Some nice sunshine Friday. And if you're joining us downtown for the Fiesta Bowl Parade, we'll all be down there as one big uh, Arizona happy family down there. 66 degrees are high, but morning temperatures will be a bit chilly. And then we'll return to the 70s Sunday into Monday. We'll be right back.